When we talk about Russian aviation, one name always comes to mind, Mikoyan, the legendary design bureau behind the MiG fighters, from the MiG-15 that fought in Korea, to the MiG-29 and the mighty MiG-31 interceptor, these aircraft shaped the image of Soviet and Russian air power. But now, Russia is aiming at something even more ambitious, the MiG-41. This project is described not just as a new aircraft, but as a revolutionary step into sixth-generation aviation, capable of flying at hypersonic speeds and even operating in near space. The MiG-41 is meant to replace the MiG-31, which first flew in the 1970s. Despite numerous upgrades, the MiG-31 is aging and Russia needs a successor. According to Viktor Bondarev, former commander of the Russian Aerospace Forces, the MiG-41 is that successor. Bondarev himself called the MiG-41 a unique sixth-generation aircraft. Not only will it fly faster than any operational jet today, but it is also expected to defend Russian skies against hypersonic missiles, stealth, aircraft, and even satellites in orbit. The project is officially called PAC-DP, or Prospect of Long Range Interception Complex, while much remains secret. It is clear that Russian engineers are trying to push technology far beyond conventional fighters like the Sukhoi-57. Reports suggest that the MiG-41 could reach Mach 4 and potentially Mach 5, which means flying more than 6,000 kilometers per hour. At those speeds, no current fighter jet in the world could catch it, making it an unmatched interceptor. Altitude is another astonishing factor. The MiG-41 may operate near the edge of space at altitudes of up to 100 kilometers. For comparison, that is higher than most ballistic missile trajectories in their mid-phase, giving the MiG-41 a chance to intercept them. But building such an aircraft is no easy task. At hypersonic speeds, the temperature on the airframe can rise to extreme levels. This requires advanced composite materials, special cooling systems, and unique design solutions just to keep the jet from melting. Propulsion is also a challenge. Early prototypes may use modified engines designed for the Sukhoi 57, known as Isdali 30. But in the future, engineers plan to develop new engines tailored specifically for hypersonic flight. Even with the initial engines, experts claim the MiG-41 will already exceed Mach 4. That is faster than the legendary American SR-71 Blackbird, which still holds the record as the fastest operational aircraft in history. Weaponry is another mystery. The MiG-41 is expected to carry long-range air-to-air missiles capable of reaching targets 300 to 400 kilometers away. It may also be armed with hypersonic missiles, anti-satellite weapons, and even experimental systems like lasers. In fact, the MiG-31 once carried an anti-satellite missile during Soviet times. The MiG-41 could inherit and modernize this role, giving Russia the ability to target enemy satellites from the edge of space. Some reports even suggest electromagnetic weapons or directed energy. Systems could be tested on the MiG-41. While still exp these technologies could make the aircraft a true game-changer in future warfare. The aircraft is also rumored to have an unmanned version. This would allow missions that push the limits of human endurance, especially at extreme altitudes and speeds where geforces and heat would be unbearable for pilots. Design responsibility falls mainly on the MiG Design Bureau, but Suko engineers are also involved. Both companies are part of the United Aircraft Corporation, which coordinates Russia's aviation projects under one umbrella. So far, 
Only computer renderings and early design concepts have been made public. The exact appearance of the MIG-41 remains classified. Some images show a sleek, needle-like jet, almost like a spacecraft designed to pierce the atmosphere. As for the timeline, Russian sources suggest the first prototype could fly around 2025. Serial production may begin after 2028, meaning the MiG-41 could enter service in the 2030s if everything goes according to plan. But here lies the question. Can Russia actually build it? Developing a hypersonic aircraft requires enormous funding, advanced materials, and cutting-edge science. Even the United States has not yet fielded an operational jet of this class. Skeptics argue that the MiG-41 may remain more of a concept than a real fighter. Russia already struggles to produce enough Suka-57 jets, so creating an even more advanced aircraft might be an impossible challenge in the near term. Supporters, however, say Russia has no choice. The MiG-31 cannot serve forever. And to defend such a massive country, Russia needs an aircraft that can fly fast, high, and cover enormous distances. The MiG-41 is their solution. If it becomes reality, the MIG-41 will not just be another fighter. It will be a symbol of Russia's attempt to dominate the skies of the future, where hypersonic speeds, space operations, and new weapons will define air combat. Bondarev himself said the project is not abandoned and continues to move forward. Time will tell whether the MiG-41 becomes the next legend in aviation history or remains a dream on the drawing board. And before we wrap up, let me know what you think. Do you believe the MIG-41 will ever fly? Or is it just propaganda? Share your opinion in the comments because I would love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoy deep dives into military technology and aviation, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Battlefield Classroom. Your support keeps us going and helps bring more content like this straight to you. Thanks for watching Battlefield Classroom, where military history meets modern defense technology. See you in the next video.